Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on discrete random variables. Now in this tutorial what I'm going to show you is if we have a probability distribution table like the one we have here then we can work out the variance of our random variable x and it's given by this formula e of x squared minus e of x all squared. And in earlier tutorials I showed you how to work out e of x, the expected mean, and e of x squared. And so if we calculate those we can put them in this formula and it gives us the variance x of our random variable. So okay, let's show you how it works from this probability distribution table. So in the usual way let's start with working out what e of x is, the expected mean. And you should know from earlier tutorials then that e of x is always equal to the sum of the observed values times the corresponding probabilities. And so for this table here we're going to have 0 times 1 tenth plus 1 times 3 tenths plus 2 times 4 tenths plus 3 times 2 tenths. So if we just write that in 0 times 1 tenth plus 1 times 3 tenths and 2 times 4 tenths and finally 3 times 2 tenths. And if you do that sum on your calculator what you'll find you get is 17 tenths. So that's E of X. Now I quite often find that people often think that E of X squared is just this value E of X squared. It's not, okay? So don't make that mistake. To work out E of X squared as I say, I showed you this in an earlier tutorial. E of x squared was equal to the sum of the squares of the observed values times their probability. So in other words, for this table, what we do is we do 0 squared times its corresponding probability, 1 tenth. And then we do the same for the other ones, 1 squared times... 3 tenths plus the 2 squared times the 4 tenths and finally 3 squared times the 2 tenths. Work that one out and what you get is 37 over 10. Okay, so when it comes to working out the variance of x, what we've got here is therefore the variance of x we know is e of x squared, so that's 37 over 10. And then we need to subtract e of x all squared, so 17 over 10 all squared. And if you work that out in your calculator, you end up with 81 over 100. Now it's worth noting at this point that you might be asked to work out the standard deviation. And if you're asked to work out the standard deviation, you should know that that's related to the variance. It's the square root of variance. So the standard deviation would be the square root then of 81 over 100. And if you square root that, you end up with 9 over 10 or 0.9. OK, well I hope that's given you some idea then how you calculate the variance of a random variable x and if it's a discrete random variable how you calculate it from a probability distribution table. OK, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial and thank you for listening.